What is up amigos, this is MJ Photos and welcome back to our channel. And in today's video, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Royale GT 9-speed by Mobot. Okay, before we begin, just a quick disclaimer that this product has been sent to us by Mobot for testing and review. So I am not paid to say anything in particular and everything that I'm going to be sharing is based on my honest and personal opinion. So a big thanks and shout out to Mobot. And presenting to you the 16-inch Royale GT M9 which is the 9-speed version of their popular Royale Trifold series. And out of the box, you can immediately see this eye-catchy and beautiful design inspired by porcelain. And I should say that they did a really good job of giving it a ceramic look and feel. Inside the box, you are also provided with a messenger bag that you can use. And as you can see, this thing is really, really compact and it makes it easier to move around because of these trolley wheels. So you can push this around areas where cycling is not allowed. The drivetrain for this bike comes with a Stormy Archer 3-speed internal gear hub combined with a 3-speed freewheel of 13, 15, and 17T. And do take note that when you shift the internal gear hubs, you must stop pedaling to change. In contrast to the external shifter where you need to pedal for the gears to shift. For the brakes, it uses a Royale Linear Pull Brake System which is good enough for this kind of bike. Another good thing to know is that this comes with fenders which is very useful when you're cycling in the rain. And the good thing is this doesn't touch the back wheel when it's folded so you're still free to turn left or right. Now the messenger bag that comes with it can be mounted on the front which also includes a rain cover so your things don't get wet. Also even if the bag is mounted, you can still fold the bike as usual so you can leave the bag as it is and push the bike around or else you can take it out and use it as a normal sling bag. The frame is made of chromoly steel and the bike weighs at around 13.4 kilograms. When unfolded, the dimensions are 1480 by 540 by 960 millimeters and when folded, it's only at 600 by 380 by 630 millimeters. It already comes with a well-placed bicycle bell and before I forget, there is actually a portable pump that can be found hidden and nicely attached onto the bike's frame. Okay, so what is up amigos and we are here in Pasiris Park. So I've actually done three rides with this uh, from Marina Bay to Jurong East, uh, Woodlands to Sembawang Park and I've also did a Chua Chukang to West Coast Park. So if you're interested to check out those videos, just check out the links in the description below. Or if I haven't, then please do watch out for those videos. So now I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and experiences in riding this bike. I have five things that I want to share about and uh, that's a chicken out there. <laughs> it's actually a chicken or a rooster here. So uh, it's a common sight here in Pasiris Park, by the way. So do expect some. So do, yeah. So do expect that kind of noise on the background. Okay. So first on the list is that this is the porcelain edition. This is uh, one of their. I don't know if it. Maybe I think it's a limited edition. Aside from their lots of varieties of color race uh, that is available in their stores. Uh, this, this is just like the Dragon Edition that's really unique and, and this is for those people who want something really special. This is for those people who would love to display this onto their living room. You can put it side by side with your vase, with your flowers, uh, with your ornaments and it would really look nice. I love the design. Uh, I don't know, is this a peacock or something? Or is this like a legendary bird? So I don't know, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so second is that this is a trifold bike and uh, what I really love about this is that it's very, very compact when you fold it. What I'm going to sh be sharing is just some tips or tricks on how to fold your trifold bike, uh, especially the Royale. And so first, I, this is a five-step guide I have. First is your pedal. You need to secure that this is placed in here so that it doesn't get in the way. 
Second is your back wheel. So there's a lever here that you need to uh, press. And then when you lift up, it will tuck in inside. That's second. Third is you need to loosen this part right here so it folds. And the way I hold it is like this. You need to hold it like this because if you hold it like this, some, uh, actually you can, but I find it hard because, because of the cable here that will get in the way. So the way I do it is hold it like this and just bring it inside. And there's a clamp right here, by the way, that you need to clamp a hook onto uh, this part of the bike. Now that's the third part. Now the fourth part is uh, losing this lock right here and then you can just fold it and it will lock in place so there's a, like a, a locking mechanism here and that's the fourth one and the fifth and final step is to put this down put the saddle down so uh, one thing that you need to know is that this saddle acts like a lock because as you can see right here uh, the, the bottom part of the seat post will ensure that when you lift it, the bike stays folded because the back wheel won't uh, unfold. Because if you don't lock this one and you lift the bike, you see, it will unfold itself. So that's why I consider this as the, the first and last step on your folding and unfolding. So this is, serves like a lock for your bike. When you unlock, this is the first thing that you need to lift up because you can't unfold this if the seat post is down. So first, lift this up. So this is, uh, we're gonna do the reverse. This is gonna be one, then two. Then three. So same position that I'm, yeah. Then lock, then four. So it's actually just four step when you unfold this because you don't need to set your pedals. So yeah, and by the way, this is, uh, the pedals are foldable, but this is kind of optional and I don't really fold it unless I put it for storage and I just want to keep the uh, minimal space. So again, you have lots of options to move around. Uh, you can move around, you can move this around half folded, uh, fully folded, you can carry this thing. And uh, it's really an easy transition from riding, folding, going to MRT and taking the bus. And that's a very, very big plus for a folding bike, like a trifold bike, okay? Now the third on the list I want to talk about is the gear. Uh, this is a 9-speed and most of you would be thinking like what is the difference between a 3-speed, a 6-speed and the 9-speed and is the 9-speed faster than the 3-speed? So uh, this is a common misconception out there and the point is the added speed is actually for climbing. So between the 3-speed and the 9-speed, you have extra gears for climbing. On the faster side, or if you're running on a flat surface, they will have the same speed or the same gear ratio. Now, why should you go for a 9-speed over a 3-speed? I think it makes sense to upgrade your front chainring to a bigger chainring. So let's say this is currently 480. If you want to upgrade to a 56 or 580, then that's a really good combination. It's like a perfect setup for you to really go fast when you're on the highest gear. Because of your added low gears, then it will still be easy for you to climb up slopes. Now, the fourth thing I want to talk about is the tires. So again, this is a 16 inch wheels and uh, the tires that comes stuck with it is actually a slick tire. It, it is my first time actually. So coming from a mountain bike that uses uh, tires with lots of knobs, it's a very, very different experience. And there's a very, very big difference in terms of rolling resistance. That's why most road bikes uses slick tires that makes them really go fast. So the benefit of a lower rolling resistance is that it 
it makes it easier to pedal and it, uh, it doesn't require that much of energy to really pedal because it just rolls smoothly. And the fifth and final thing that I want to talk about is the place to mount a bag or what they call the messenger bag. So this one is like a universal thing and this is compatible with other uh, trifolds out there. And what I love about this is that um, when you buy this bike, it comes with a messenger bag that is free. And this one is really big. I know some of you would prefer something uh, small and compact, but for me, this is a very welcome addition because I usually bring a lot of stuff, especially when I'm recording. So for you, if, you're, if you want to bring some stuff, uh, bring some food, then this is really gonna be very handy. And again, I think some bonus points. This one is foldable, but you can actually replace this. Uh, most people would replace their pedals and seat posts and saddle. I know some people also would uh, really replace their trolley wheels. So yeah, it's up to you. But all in all, the stock that comes with your bike is really, really good enough. And I think when you're choosing between the M-Bar and the S-Bar, uh, it really it's really based on your preference. The M-Bar is more for those people who want to cycle upright. Uh, the S-Bar is for those uh, sporty or aggressive type where you need to lean a bit forward because it will be lower. Like I know there are lots of uh, alternatives and other brands out there in the market, but I think locally here in Singapore, the, the, the one of the benefits maybe for choosing the Royale is that they have lots of branches here in Singapore. And I think it's very convenient if you're just near around the area, if you're in the east or in the west, then the, the, they may be a branch near you. But then again, you're free to choose whatever you want. Um, uh, in terms of colorways, Mobot has lots of colorways that you can choose. Really, I really, really think that you will have a hard time choosing your color because everything looks really, really nice. But you can always buy more than one bike, right? So yeah, that's it. Uh, these are the thoughts and my experiences in riding this. Um, I'm not sure if this is already my full review, but I may release another video, like a uh, long-term review after riding this for a very long time. Okay, so yeah, that's it. I think that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to check this uh, Royal GT9 Speed, you can check out the link in the description box below and you can visit Mobot's website uh, you, for lots of options on their, uh, not just the trifold bike, but they also have other folding bikes. So do check them out and do check out my next uploads. Uh, probably it will be all using the Royal GT9 Speed and you will see this in action for all the park connectors and parks that I'm going to be exploring. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos uploaded every week. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. This is MJ Photos. Salamat, amigos.